How's it going guys? My name is Arthur and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going over part two of the Goldman Sachs a virtual experience program, the basic Excel skills. This video is a continuation of part one. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. So let's get right into it. Okay, so moving on to number 12, um, we have to actually create another shortcut once again. So if we go into tools, uh, we need a shortcut called auto fit column, sh column shortcut. So we want to customize keyboard. Um, we're gonna go, I believe it's home. Let's try auto fit, auto fit selection. Um, and then we are going to use uh, option command A, add, press okay. And then option command A, and there we go. That, col that column stretches out to fit the whole word. And then let's do the same here. Option command A should make it a lot smaller. There we go, pretty good. So continue on to 13. Okay, so moving on to question 13. So we're gonna have to create a new shortcut here uh, that's text to column. So we're gonna go to tools, customize keyboard. Let's go to data tab. And here we're looking for uh, convert text to table. So here I already have a, uh, a shortcut, uh, command shift E. So once you can, put that in there and then add that, click OK. So once I go in on, on the text, the cell in the, te the text in the cell, I'm gonna press Command Shift E. It's gonna give me a bunch of options. So I haven't figured out a way how to do this without a mouse. So you might have to, you're gonna have to press next a couple times with your mouse um, and then make sure that everything's general, finish, Okay, and there we go. So the text is, uh, the cell is split up across these five cells. Pretty neat. Okay, so moving on to 14, we're gonna use a function called trim. This, we're gonna have to press, we're gonna press equals, trim, uh, parentheses, and we're gonna select the cell. There we go, so that fixes it. And then this one, uh, similar idea, we're gonna use the proper function and then select the cell above. Okay, moving on to 16, uh, pretty easy. Uh, we just add comments, so we wanna press Fn Shift F2 on Mac. That gives us a comment. You can just press um, Enter to get out of it, and then so on. So you, you don't, I'm not gonna do these two, so you guys can do that one. Uh, now removing comments, we just do Fn Shift F10. And then you're gonna have to go delete note. So you can, you can use arrow keys to navigate that menu. And same thing for these. I wonder if you can maybe select them like this, 10. Yep, delete note. So you can do several at a time too. Okay, um, oh, before we get to that question, I believe I skipped one, so let me have a look. So there's a couple more, there's a question that we wanted to do, uh, question three right here. So for question three, we wanna insert a column from this blue cell. So just like before, uh, instead of selecting a row, we wanna select the column. So to do that, we press control space, that selects the column. And in order to add a column, we press command shift plus. And now in order to delete a column, uh, we want to be in the cell, select the column to uh, using control space, and then command minus to delete the column. There we go. So let's go back to the final question. Uh, using something called a name manager. So what a name manager does is basically going to assign, say these percentages, so cost of equity to uh, like a variable name. So RE and 4% will go to RD and so on. And then we can just type out the actual variable names instead of the actual percentages and it's gonna do the calculation for us. So let's go into just this blue cell. We're gonna press Command FN F3. So that's gonna open up this um, name manager. Let's delete this. We're gonna have to create a new name for each individual variable. So we're gonna say RE, and this refers to uh, 
uh, this cell, click OK, and go new, ID, this refers to this cell, new, um, tax rate, and uh, this refers to this one, new, um, debt, that refers to this, new equity, this refers to this. Okay, so we have uh, all of our names here, debt, equity, RDRE, tax rate, and now we're going to use the WAC formula that is provided for us um, um, right here. I'm just going to copy paste and there we go so that just fixed the the double equal sign for me uh, and yeah so if anyone's curious you can basically look at the formula uh, and the formula doesn't contain numbers it actually contains variable names okay that's all for the basic excel task for the goldman sachs virtual internship i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, and learned a couple new things especially if you were using a mac i'll be posting the next task pretty soon thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time